In preparation for delivering the world's first all-electric sedan, Lucid Motors is making big progress. The company's production lines are starting to come into action. Casa Grande, Arizona has a 590-acre footprint and is the site of Lucid Motors' new production facility. In today's video, we'll go over the different phases that a car goes through on its way to becoming a finished product. We'll also be addressing the Lucid Plant Expansion Plan, so stay tuned for that as well. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder, subscribing's free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. Lucid has two facilities in Arizona, AMP-1, which houses vehicle production and assembly, while the powertrain plant houses the assembly of the motor, battery pack, inverter, and drive units. When fully operational, the company will be able to build a car every 10 minutes. We'll discuss both the AMP-1 facility and the powertrain factory in the following chapter, as well as Lucid's plant expansion in depth. The whole production takes place in the following three phases. The Body Shop The all-new Lucid AMP-1 production system includes sophisticated techniques such as a riveted and attached monocoque body construction inspired by airplanes. The new technology replaces the old spot weld process. This provides the Lucid Air with state-of-the-art structural efficiency. In the body shop, aluminum chassis as well as the other body parts of the automobile are manufactured. Because it demands a high degree of precision, it is completely mechanized with robots. For the time being, the factory is only producing chassis and body pieces for the air model. But following an expansion, the plant will be able to accommodate a number of new manufacturing lines for various Lucid models in the near future. The company is aware that it is battling against the greatest in the world, and they are prepared for it. As a result, the techniques and materials that they employ are among the best available. They have invested in the most up-to-date and innovative painting methods. Lucid utilizes the most up-to-date materials available, as well as a highly skilled staff of engineers and manufacturing professionals. The Painting Process They developed a method that was as efficient as the car in order to give Lucid Air its rich color and exquisite gloss. The car will go through the following procedures and processes. The first process is pretreatment and electrocoat, during which each Lucid Air is thoroughly cleaned once it's been removed from the body shop. They apply a thin film coating as well as an electrodeposition coating, which protects the entire body structure from corrosive environments. After that, they seal the vehicle thoroughly to avoid any air or water penetration that could cause road noise or water leaking into the vehicle. Then comes the fun part, painting the unit. After it's been sealed and sanded, it's taken into the paint booth. They've used the most up-to-date technique and material technologies to achieve a faultless, luxury finish in this installation. The car is then transported to a finesse deck where it's inspected and polished to perfection by a team of professionals before being approved for the next stage of production. General Assembly and Powertrain the Lucid Corporation also has a powertrain manufacturing facility located about six miles from the construction factory. This facility is responsible for the production of modules, battery packs, inverters, drive units, and wonder boxes that are Lucid's proprietary charging units. Following their manufacture, these components are delivered to AMP-1 for final assembly. According to CEO Peter Rawlinson, to outsource something of this importance would be foolish. This is our fundamentally intellectual property and is our core technology. That's why they are built in-house. The General Assembly is quite spectacular since it represents the confluence of everything that distinguishes Lucid. When a fresh Lucid Air emerges from the paint shop, it's time to begin General Assembly of the vehicle. This is where the body, powertrain, and the rest of the meticulously designed interior come together and are then quality tested to verify that the EV is flawless. A hands-on human aspect is more important at this step of the process than it is at any other point. It's all been well planned. After each Lucid Air is completed, 
It's subjected to an inspection that includes 180 qualities before being approved. According to Quality Director Federico Tapia, the handoff with General Assembly begins in the roll test section. Then the machine is tested in the water, squeaks and rattles. The quality team is testing 11 subsystems, including the powertrain, body, interior, exterior, chassis, and more. Expansion A focus on future-ready design, according to Lucid, ensured that AMP1 will be able to accommodate future phases of growth. There are four phases planned from now through the year 2028. The factory's square footage will increase from 999,000 square feet to 5.1 million square feet as a result of the expansion. The final configuration will have a production capability of up to 400,000 electric vehicles of multiple models per year. The strategy, which calls for increasing production and sales volume from 0 to 400,000 in 8 years, seems intriguing and quite ambitious. There were a lot of factors considered in selecting the Arizona site, including infrastructure and talent availability, as well as the presence of an established automotive supply chain. But it also provided ample space for a huge footprint and future expansions, since major portions of the facility were purposefully designed with this in mind. In addition, there will be a modernized, water-based paint shop that is future-proof, with the appropriate footprint and specialized infrastructure to allow it to be scaled to suit the needs of the factory's various phases in the future. Lucid is currently hard at work on the second phase of its expansion strategy. That started in early 2021, and it will allow the eventual manufacturing of the brand's first SUV under the name Project Gravity in 2023. According to our assumptions, assuming that the Air is in Phase 1 and the SUV in Phase 2, it's possible that the third and fourth stages will also be for a single new model or platform. That would bring our total number of models up to four. The Conclusion Instead of producing electric vehicles for other firms, the company is concentrating on establishing its own brand image. Even if the company is investigating a wide range of new models, CEO Peter Rawlinson has stated that the company is not interested in contract manufacturing services. The fact that it is expanding its plant is evidence of this. However, achieving these objectives was not always straightforward. Lucid has had a long journey and, at times, a difficult journey to reach the public market. The company had originally hoped to put an electric vehicle into production in early 2018, but it ran into finance difficulties that caused the time frame to be pushed back more and further. With a $1 billion investment from Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund in 2018, Lucid gained a significant infusion of cash. In terms of its future delivery and expansion plans, Lucid believes it is on the right track, and that is what we hope for too. What are your thoughts on the Lucid factory? Did they choose a site that would be particularly advantageous for future expansion? Let us know in the comments section. It's only a 5-mile drive between Alexis and the Lucid manufacturing plant. You must be extremely fortunate, and you'll be the most informed about the factory expansion. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.